Hi everyone, thanks so much for downloading our new NAS migration program. This video will show you how to install the program on your system and run it successfully. In order to use Stonefly NAS Migrate, you'll need two things. The OVA file to install the virtual machine and a product license key. To start, we'll go to the Stonefly NAS Migrate page on the website. I'll post the link on the screen right now. At the top of this page, we'll find a button that says Free Download. We'll click it and add the migration software to our cart and click Proceed to Checkout. This will prompt an interest form that takes our name and the email address we'd like to have the key and OVA file sent to. After filling out the form, Stonefly will send us emails with both items. You should get two separate emails. Here's a screenshot of a typical email from Stonefly Migrate with the product license key. Please check your spam folder for the email in case it ended up there. In addition, you'll receive another email with a link to download the OVA file and another link for the setup guide. Let's click the OVA link and download the file. Once we get the OVA file and license key, we'll load the file on our vCenter. In vCenter, we'll create a new VM and type in a name for the VM. I'm going to call it data migrate underscore demo and click to locate and select the OVA file. Then we'll click next and then next again, next and finally finish. Just a heads up, it might take some time to import the file into your system. Once the import is complete, we'll start the VM. The system is configured with the DHCP IP by default and should automatically show the IP address. But if it doesn't, you can configure it yourself by logging in using Datablock, all lowercase is the console username and password, and changing the settings with ifconfig. We also recommend you first ping the IP address to ensure that it's online by typing ping 8.8. .8 Dot eight dot eight and pressing enter. Check out our setup guide manual for more information. Next, we'll open a new browser page and type in the IP address we've assigned. The following page should appear. Now we'll log in with Stonefly in all lowercase for both the username and password. Creative, I know. After, we'll put in the license key that we got in the email and click activate. When it finishes executing, you'll get a little message box confirming the activation. Also, under the license key text box, there'll be a ticker showing the remaining number of days until the license will expire. Okay, now we click login and ta-da, we're in. We've been redirected to the Stonefly NAS Migrate dashboard. On the upper left side, you'll see graphical displays of CPU and memory utilization, and on the upper right side, you'll see the network utilization stats. On the bottom, you have the workflow dashboard, which gives you a list of the workflows you'll run and their status. And that's it. You're ready to use Stonefly NAS Migrate. Please watch our How to Use Stonefly Migrate to learn how to use the program and start migrating your NAS volumes. Good luck and be sure to send us feedback using the feedback form on our Stonefly Migrate website page. We read all your suggestions and put them in our roadmap. Thanks again for your time and be sure to subscribe to our social media channels for more helpful videos like this one. Bye.